All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a Game of Thrones video for today leading up to the eighth and final season for the TV series. In this one we're going to be explaining or giving our thoughts on a very important group that is most likely going to be joining Cersei's side in the upcoming war and that is who are the Golden Company. And spoiler warning as usual, if you guys have not seen, all the way up to the finale for Game of Thrones Season 7. So going into Season 8, definitely want to give my thoughts on this group, this mercenary group, because they are going to be extremely important. Um, so in the finale for Season 7, Cersei has revealed to Jaime that she does not plan on helping Jon or Daenerys face the White Walkers at all. Um, she told them that she would, she promised them that she would, but uh, now it seems that she had a, a plan uh, brewing and uh, a strategy lined up here, and that is, of course, that uh, Euron has actually not headed home to the Iron Islands. He has actually sailed to uh, Essos uh, in order to get the Golden Company, so to bring them uh, to Westeros in order to uh, face the winner of the um, Night King, the White Walkers versus Jon and Daenerys. Now this is uh, very bad news, I want to say, for Jon and Daenerys because they're going to find themselves facing the White Walkers first, and then if they're lucky enough to defeat them, then they're going to have to face Cersei with the Golden Company afterwards. So the Golden Company is basically the most expensive um, band of mercenaries or a sellsword company uh, in all the Seven Kingdoms, I'd say, at this point. Uh, there was a mention from uh, Stannis and uh, Davos, we're talking earlier on in the series, about possibly hiring the Golden Company. Um, and it seems that they weren't able to do it, probably because Stannis didn't have enough money, at least <laughs> that's what is alluded to in uh, in the books. Um, but yes, the Golden Company, I mean, they're, they're expensive, right? You know, they're the best that there is at what they do. They Wolverine that shit, so they're going to charge. You know, <laughs> They're going to charge probably a lot of money. Um, we do know that Cersei has kind of, it seems, taken out another uh, loan, so to speak, from the Iron Bank of Bravos, and that she uh, most likely intends or has used that in order to purchase is the services of the Golden Company because right now she's kind of minus uh, an army that she's really going to need for everything that is to come uh, soon. So in terms of just how effective the Golden Company is, they are one of the largest and most skilled uh, sellsword companies in the free cities. They consist of over 20,000 uh, you know, members, which is made up of infantry cavalry and war elephants which is uh, really cool because we haven't seen any kind of uh, you know war elephants in the series so far um, that's going to be really kind of cool to see how uh, you know how they use the elephants uh, when they're fighting and just just what that looks like uh, maybe trample some people and stuff like that that could be really cool to see in some of these final uh, battles in the series uh, and also might give them a little bit more height or leverage uh, possibly when it comes to maybe dealing with the dragons or you know uh, if it comes to white walkers things like this um, just a pretty cool kind of um, thing that nobody else really has uh, or has had so far in uh, in the series they have a reputation of never breaking a contract which is uh, quite uncommon among uh, mercenary organizations and uh, they are said to be one of by themselves one of the most uh, powerful armies in the world they were founded by a Targaryen bastard named Aegor Rivers, uh, who is also known as Bitter Steel, and they are currently captained by Harry Strickland. Their motto is, our word is as good as gold, and their war cry is, beneath the gold, the bitter steel, which pays homage to their founder. So I am very excited to see what the television series version of this group looks like. It should be wicked cool to see their uh, armor designs and all that when we finally get some uh, pictures next year for the uh, eighth and final season. Just should be really cool to see because they, you know, they got the gold everywhere. You got the uh, the war elephants, uh, golden skulls, and all this stuff. It's just oh man, it uh, really looks cool. So I uh, can't wait to see what they look like in the finalized TV series version. And um, really some uh, some interesting tactics from Cersei for. sure. Sure, I think her father would be proud. Very uh, Tywin-esque, I want to say. Maybe even, can I say even smarter? I don't know if I want to say that, but Cersei is definitely clever as all hell. And definitely not somebody you want to uh, underestimate. And it's possible here that maybe uh, Jon and uh, Daenerys, focusing all their attention on the White Walkers, really are giving Cersei that time she needs right now 
to um, you know really just get prepared and and be ready no matter what happens afterwards. So uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about uh, the Golden Company and uh, how you think this whole thing is going to play out in the last six episodes. Man, it should be epic when this uh, when this is all finished and we get to see the final season. Just can't wait. Uh, if you guys like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. You can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another Game of Thrones video. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya.